Hi guys, it's Ash from Envy. In today's video, we're just gonna show you how to calculate the volume of your pond, and then also how much treatment to use for the volume of your pond. We do have a video already on what treatments to use when. So if that's the type of information that you're after, then feel free to check that video out after this one. We just run through what product to use when, what order, the length of time to, to leave it and whatnot. It's quite a common question we get, this one. So we're hopeful that by us showing you how to do it, it should hopefully help you in the future as well. So yeah, we can go and have a look at the pond and we're gonna measure it today and, and see how we get on. Before we get into measuring the pond, I think something really important just to point out first is how important this step is, just for treating a pond in general. Now, you don't need the measurements totally accurate, um, but as long as you've got a rough guidance in terms of the length and the width and the depth of your pond, then it will give you some guidance for using treatment. So then you know roughly how big the pond is, how much treatment to use. That step can't be wrong because if you're not using enough product per treatment because the measurements was wrong or you didn't know, so you was kind of just throwing what you thought in was the right amount, then this could be the biggest, or this tends to be the biggest reason as to why you've not seen much success from the pond treatments you've been using. So doing this certainly will help and, and it's the first key step into getting the pond back to normal again. So the first measurements we're gonna get is the length and the width of the pond. Now, these are really easy to get for this particular pond we're at today because it's square. So any pond that's square or circle, it's really easy to get the measurements for. Now, later on in the video, we are gonna visit a, a more of an irregular shaped pond. Um, so that should give you some idea, um, if you do have an irregular shaped pond, you know, how to do it and so on. So feel free to skip to, to that part of the video. As I mentioned earlier, it doesn't need to be totally accurate, but as long as you've got some guidance in terms of, you know, roughly how big it is, so this is working out at about seven foot in length. And because it's square, I'm pretty certain it's gonna be the same for the width as well. Yeah, it's about seven foot width as well. I mean, it doesn't, it's not totally surprising because it's a square, but. So I'm just gonna get the depth of this pond now as well. And um, this, this pond doesn't have a shelf. Again, I've, I've got nothing to worry about with uh, inconsistent depths. Well, I come back at about just under two foot, um, but just for the reading purpose, I'm just gonna round that up to two feet. Again, with ponds, you're always better to slightly overdo it uh, than you are to underdo it. So I wouldn't worry too much if you round it up to the closest foot, let's say. And so we're gonna go on to our pond calculator, which is on our website. And um, this is available for everyone to see and we're going to show you how to find that shortly. But before we do that, we're now going to visit the next pond where we're at, which is a bit more of an irregular shape. And we'll run through the exact same again, so you can just see how to measure that. So we're at a different pond now. Um, and as you can see, this one is a little bit more of an irregular shape. And the best way to be able to measure this out and, and find out how much it holds is actually by starting with the longest length first of the pond. Um, and then I would also get the longest width as well. So as you can see, this come back to about 16 to 17 feet on the longest length. Now I'm gonna round that up to 17 just to be on the safe side. And then we've got the longest width of the pond as well, which come back at about 12 to 13 feet. Again, I'm gonna round that up to be around 13 foot. And then we've done the depth as well, which come back at about one and a half feet. But this particular pond I know is larger in the middle. So again, I'm gonna round that to two feet rather than one and, one and a half. Doing that will make the pond slightly larger when we, when we go to use the pond calculator. But by doing that, you're ensuring that when you're using the treatments, um, you're going to be using enough bacteria per treatment. It's not harmful to put too much in, as long as you're sticking with the dimensions and the dosage rate uh, in what you've just done. If your pond has any shelves in for plants around the edge, obviously you want to try and skip past them and go more central and get the depth of the pond there. Uh, for this particular pond, it doesn't have any shelves. It's got some plants in, 
but it doesn't have a shelf in there. So I know that I didn't need to worry about that. Although, as I've mentioned, it is slightly deeper in the middle, um, which is why we raised the average depth to be two feet instead of one and a half. So it just rounds it up slightly. Well, now we're just going to show you how to find our pan calculator and, and run through it with you to show you just how easy it is to use. Really simple, if you have a smartphone, you, you simply just go to your web browser. Um, it's www.envy.co.uk um, and then forward slash calculator. And this takes you directly to the Pond Calculator page. Um, I'm just going to choose Pond Clear just for the purpose of this video. Um, but as you can see, on this list here, it does show you every single pond product that we have. So we're going to run through the length. So we said it was seven foot by seven foot, and then the depth was two foot. If you do this in meters, you can change that from feet to meters, as you can see there. And then click submit, uh, and there we are. Really simple. It gives us the, uh, the result, so it tells us exactly how much pond clear we need to use, which is 70 milliliters. The pond comes back at 2,775 liters or 610 gallons. So what I will probably do is I will round this up to 3,000 liters just to ensure when I do any treatments in the future, you know, we're gonna be using a sufficient amount of treatment each time uh, and I know that it's completely safe for all fish and wildlife. And as you can see in the bottom right of the screen here, we do have our chat system. So if there's any questions you have, feel free to type in here and, and ask away. So I just thought it'd be necessary to quickly run through another product called Pond Equalizer, um, mainly because this is a powder. Uh, with our liquid treatments, as you can see with Pond Clear, um, nearly dropped it there. We've got the measuring cap at the top. So this will allow us to squeeze the bottle. This will begin to fill up and it goes up to 25 milliliters. So for this one, it's really easy. I know I need three of these per treatment. Whereas with Pond Equalizer, this is just purely powder. So the good thing with this particular product is you can't overdo it. This one is a 500 gram packet. My pond is 3000 liters. I could use all of it if I wanted to. I probably will use an estimated amount. Um, but one thing to note is, as I mentioned, you can't overdo it. If I wanted to, it'd probably make more sense for me to use it all, and then I don't need to do it again for another three months, you know, if the water parameters are reading okay. So, just something I thought I'd run through. You want to make sure you're using more of this than you do less. So again, if you if you have anything around three to 4,000 liters, then I would just use a 500 gram all in one. Um, but, we, you know, we sell this in different sizes, but again, it's all on the back of the packet in how much to use for, for the size of your pond. So that pretty much covers it. It's a question we get quite a lot of, um, and we just figured we can come and show you how to do it. Hopefully you'll get some guidance from that. Obviously, if you do struggle with any of these steps, feel free to give us a call. Our contact details are gonna be on screen now, and we're more than happy to help where we can do. But yeah, any questions, comment below, let us know, and, and we can take it from there. If you can, like the video, subscribe. It's really beneficial for us, and it really does go a long way. So yeah, that's it from us. Thank you for watching. Take care.